thanks again for tuning in to another video and here we have the audioplex installed now as you can see in my uh, last video i installed them pretty easy install except for the fairing and uh, the the speaker system itself fitting on stock risers that's pretty much uh they work they install it's just that as i mentioned in the other video the speaker grill might be damaged because it's up against my riser clamp right here so that's if you're installing it on stock risers or you know if you have different if you have higher risers then i'm pretty sure that's not going to be a problem so so far i guess that would be one of the issues with uh the universal bracket and the other issue that i have is adjusting the volume because uh, I have these thick gloves, it's difficult for me to lower the volume or raise the volume. Sometimes I'm trying to lower the volume, the volume try and lower it, and it turns out I'm maxing it out, and it's getting louder and louder. So, still have to get a hang of that. As uh, as I'm going to show you guys, upcoming, uh, these are some of the uh, some of my dislikes so far. I guess one of be would be the price. They're eight hundred dollars pretty expensive uh, I can't you know there's really no way for me to even compare them sound wise to you guys through YouTube through the video uh, all I can say is they're also loud um, I believe these might be slightly louder than my other speakers that I'm gonna show you on this video later on on the video but I, I guess I could I guess you could say these are a little bit louder the only the only reason why I went with this setup, just so I could see and show you guys on the videos on uh, on these Audioplex, and probably do a kind of a comparison versus these $800 ones and the uh, $600, uh, the $60 ones, which are the, the ones from uh, B Boss, I believe. So those are the ones that I bought, purchased off of. You can buy them off of eBay. You don't have to pay taxes if you buy them off of Amazon. You would, you will end up paying taxes. So. Uh, there's another thing to consider budget wise but if you just want sound on the bike kind of long video short you can't go bad with those Amazon $60 ones these are nice as you can see they blend in pretty nice with the fairing they blend in pretty good with the with the motorcycle they look good they look uh, they look big and round and right in the face right here in the front so yeah, you know they, they, they do look familiar if you know what I'm saying but uh, they're good speakers if you have the, the eight hundred dollars to kind of throw in you know eight hundred bucks it's a lot of money uh with taxes and everything i'm not sure uh, I, I was able to uh, get a little bit of a discount but so far uh they're located here in hayward so pretty not fast shipping by the time i ordered i had to wait about say maybe about 13 days so business business days maybe 10 business days before they started shipping them and the only reason why i got them so fast was because it's in hayward and i live in the bay area so i was able to get it maybe about a day or two uh through their ups service and it's a ground service so if you lived on the east coast you're, you're probably going to look at another week just you know just to get uh, your, your your speakers so Installation pretty straightforward. You don't have to mount the power button because it's right, it's right in the housing of the speaker system. So you don't have to purchase another, another button or another off and on switch for the speakers. Kind of like what you're going to see on my, on my other bike for the $60 ones. But still, even with the $60 and uh, having the. Uh, having the speaker in there i mean the the off on switch it's still you know it doesn't compare to the price on these speakers so sound wise they sound good just like on uh, on on my six dollar uh bike i mean they don't sound just like them but you know the sounds a little bit clearer i believe there's a little bit uh a little bit of bass compared to the uh to the sixty dollar ones they have a little bit more thump to them. I, I believe these sound a little bit more clear than my than my cheap uh, my cheapy my cheap speakers. And uh, this is also what a housing of a plastic. I'm not sure how how Plex Audio makes these. They, they might be 3D printed, but the kind of the finish on this 
kind of matches up with the rest of the finish on the bike if you look at the um at the plex audio they look pretty pretty bang on close so you know these bike these these speakers look good they sound good and it, it, it kind of goes with the whole flow of the bike yeah, uh, the main reason why I wanted to go, I went with these was because they look good on the on other bikes. I like the way they look right here, right behind the bars. How they're tucked in between the fairing and the bars. Uh, it's a perfect fit with with this fairing. And I believe there's also another another uh, company that makes these uh, other speakers. I believe they're called Two Wheel Audio. And they those those that housing unit has these speakers and i believe they have little tweeters on the uh on this gap right that you see over here the gap over here there, there there's also two speakers on each one here so but though but that audio system you're looking at a thousand bucks over a thousand dollars maybe a thousand two hundred uh probably about a thousand two hundred and i'm not sure how those are mounted but there's a guy on youtube i believe it's connor fx uh, db he has that two wheel audio system on his lowrider and the, you know the, the that also looks good so you have quite a few options you have these plex audios you have that two wheel audio and then you also have the harley davidson and the boss and but those are basically just the same i mean maybe quality wise they're not as same as a as the boss ones because i mean even though even the harley davidson's those are those are 300 400 speakers and the amazon speakers you're looking at about 60 or not even amazon i mean it's boss the, the boss uh, speaker system those are about uh, 60 50 bucks so if you're on a budget then there's nothing wrong with the other speakers they also they also do the job they're loud you can hear them uh, if you have a big old windshield like I do on my other bike, you can hear them just fine. They're they're good. On this one, on on these, uh, you know, if you have the 800 bucks and 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 you have the money to be to be spending that much money or wasting that kind of money, you know, especially right now with the whole situation that we're dealing with, uh, the coronavirus, the lockdown, you know, then you, you probably want to wait wait on, uh, on on buying these speakers or you know if you really want them then you're gonna get them you know and if you have a brand new Harley these are nice so if you want to keep on watching the video you can I'm gonna go over my other audio system that I have on my other bike and that's pretty much it so you guys just came here to kind of hear my thoughts on on the Plex audio I like them they look good they sound good they're loud uh, you can't really hear them through YouTube, so there's no point of me even playing the audio because I yeah, there's a good there's a good chance my video is gonna get copyrighted. Okay, now let's take a look at the cheap old speakers over here. I have this connected over here to the back, as you can see, it's already connected to the phone. That's off. That's on. So that's connected. Okay, so let's take a look at the at my cheap twenty no my right, sixty dollar speakers now. Okay, so this is the good thing about having the little control knob over here, so instantly connected. I don't have to reach over and try to fight these gloves. Easy to turn on and off. This one, as I mentioned earlier, this is the power button right here. When it's on, it's on. You flip it over, it's also weatherproof, and I installed it right below the seat. So, I don't even want to put too much stuff over here on the handlebars. And that's the one thing I do like a lot about it. I could connect that over here. They are loud. No problem at all trying to hear them, especially with this big old windshield that blocks a lot of the, the wind noise. So here, let's go ahead. Let's go 
ahead and over here so you guys can listen these to these uh, Amazon. Uh, yeah, they're pretty loud. And then, uh, and then uh, you can also control them on the phone. So if my phone's volume's not all the way up, then obviously it's not going to be the loudest. Uh, from what I've noticed, I mean, it'll get too louder once you go all the way up. I believe maybe halfway or uh, maybe three quarters up. That's pretty much the loudest it goes. I haven't really, I haven't really heard much of a difference after, let's say, the volume seven and, and volume ten. Pretty loud. You can still hear them, and they don't cost you, you know, eight hundred dollars. So. I believe these I could probably hide them somewhere on the lowrider but so far the way they look right now on this bike they look good you don't really see them a lot of people don't even see the speakers uh, and as I mentioned earlier this is also blacked out like plexi dipped plastic dipped the uh, the windshield so to kind of match the heritage so it's uh you don't you can't really notice them that much and um, you know, I'm not too, uh, I'm not too bummed out about spending, you know, 60 bucks. They do have sound; you can hear them. And, um, and they have the amp. You know, uh, they don't, and that's pretty much something that you'll get with Audioplex as well. You don't get the little knob right here, little volume control knob. I've had these for three, three years, and they have a little bit of a sun been beat up by the sun a little bit as you can see here uh, they're, they're losing their color but this, you do have the option of buying a a control Bluetooth control but you're looking at a hundred dollars which is uh, it's a lot of money a uh, hundred bucks just to kind of do what this does but I guess at the same time you can change the audio track but that's what I believe you should be doing you should be making a playlist for when you go out riding so you're not messing with your phone all the time and, and that's pretty much a an overview or a look at these $60 speakers compared to the Plex Audio which uh, you know they're about $700 $800 and this and these speakers come with uh, with all the brackets you need they also have different uh, sizes as well you don't have to you don't have to buy the bracket it comes with uh, a clamp a C clamp uh, bracket that you can put on this is actually attached to the fairing themselves the fairing brackets so it works out pretty good you know they look good they, they you know they sound all right for the price and and they, they, they also come with the uh, with the clamps that you need to kind of put it onto the handlebars. Like I said, this is actually attached to the windshield, and and they have the amp. Though I guess you would just have to try to see where you could locate the amp. This one uh, where I placed it, where I placed the amp, it's about this big. And I'll probably show you guys uh, the amp itself. It's only. I'd say maybe about uh, maybe four inches by four by three by four. So actually, where the owner's manual that would go, that's where the the app is is connected to, where the owner's manual will normally go. And for sixty bucks, fifty dollars, and then they're black. You don't, you know. They also have them in chrome, but uh, and it's I, I believe it's plastic. You know, it's probably made in China all this stuff but I've had it for three or four years and I've, I've never I've never had an issue with these speakers and I, I, I usually write it maybe about halfway the, the turning up about halfway and that's what I like about this uh, system versus the, the Plex audio well that's a few things the between the Plex audio and this one I like the I like the price the price compared compared to this one and I also like the volume control knob, the the knob over here that you can control your your volume. Your your you, you could adjust the the volume on on the speakers directly onto this control knob. I don't have to be fighting with these gloves and trying to push the volume up instead of putting the volume down, which has happened quite a bit 
on my Plex Audio. Uh, you know, just a couple, couple things here and there, but Plex Audio fits pretty good on the on the Harley, except for that clearance issue that I mentioned in the other video. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If you guys are thinking about getting some some audio on your bike and you don't have the, the budget. You know what honestly there's nothing wrong with buying buying these 50 60 dollars speakers so if you're thinking about buying some some speakers for your bike uh, you can't go wrong with these Amazons for this the boss the boss speaker system you can't go wrong with these guys for you know 50 60 bucks and if you wanted to you could kind of hook them up the way I have them hooked up onto a, a three, a three switch, and it's just three because of that little light on the on the inside. You could actually buy a, a single a, a, a two switch, which is just ba uh, basic on and off. This one has three because of the little LED light that it has on the inside. And uh, thank you for watching, tuning in. If you're thinking about getting speakers on your motorcycle you can't go wrong with both if you have a budget these aren't these aren't bad at all for for 50 60 bucks you can still listen to your tunes they're loud enough to hear and you're not spending eight hundred dollars you know a thousand bucks if you round it up all right thank you guys yes you guys have a good day later